What's going on everybody? This is the Canadian Indoor Grower coming to you. Um, I just wanted to give you my two cents about commercial air pumps. Now, if you start looking into commercial air pumps for your hydroponics, your, your fish tank, whatever, um, you gotta keep one thing in mind. Sizing for what you're doing. Okay, it's all nice and dandy to say, oh, I've got a pump that can do 110 liters per minute, but you're choking it off to 50 liters per minute. Now, what's happening is when you're choking it off, you're heating it up. Now, that back pressure causes a lot of heat in these pumps, and then you have people say, oh, my pump's too hot, my pump's too hot, it died after five days. Yeah, well, uh, let's just give you a for instance, okay? Let's say you've got 12 ports on your pump. If you're only running two little quarter inch lines and everything else is closed, that is a lot of restriction for this big pump. And it's gonna heat up and it's gonna get too hot because you're blocking too much of its performance. And it's like taking your car and plugging the exhaust and expecting it to still run and not overheat while it's gonna overheat. So uh, everybody who's buying commercial grade air pumps, make sure you're running enough air through it, okay? That's like the same thing to do with if you're just running in tiny little air stones, okay? That's a restriction point. Every restriction point is gonna make this thing hotter. The best case scenario is having the biggest flow of the widest pipe that you can possibly have. That's gonna keep this thing running smooth and cooler. Now a second thing is, if you can somehow run your air from a cool spot or do like I do and I just plug it into a hose like you just saw in my last video and my hose goes through my port into my cooler where all my res water is and out and draws from the room so it gets very cool in there when there's 20 feet of pipe in there cooling off that air so again Everyone who's buying a commercial grade air pump, make sure you're not choking it off too much. Because these things are fun and dandy to play with, but every time you turn that little dial, that's creating a choke point, okay? And you're restricting that pump. You're making it harder for it to pump if you're putting that valve like that. It's having a harder time pushing that air through, which makes more heat. So guys, as much as it's fun, and girls, as much as it's fun to play with these little knobs and adjust your flow for the exact amount of bubbles you think you need, well, no, uh, you're killing your pump just for the fun of it. So um, keep it free flowing as big as you can, as much as you can in these units, and they should stay nice and cool. Well, cool-ish. I mean, they'll still heat up, but it'll stay cooler if you're not choking it off. So keep that in mind when you're using these pumps and uh, they should last a lot longer for you. All right, everybody, uh, take care of this Canadian indoor grower. Subscribe, like, uh, follow me on this journey to get our max out of these four plants. Four plants at once in Canada here is completely legal. So we're gonna push the hell out of these and see what we can do. All right, take care and stay green. Peace.